Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is Columbus Day. Happy Columbus Day. I'm not showing you my face because today is a no makeup day. So I'm pretty much of a mess. Um, but And I'm not shipping anything off today, but I will show you what I listed. Not much for the last couple of days because, I don't know, I was busy doing other things. But anyway, uh, I listed this uh, set of four little sterling silver salt shakers. They're very sweet looking. And uh, those I sold, I mean, I listed for um, 27 and whoops, Jeez, this one. okay, uh, I listed this monkey wrench, which uh, the maker is Pitt, Stowe, and Wilcox, which I guess is kind of a desirable tool maker. They, they were founded in 1870. I don't know how old this wrench is. I imagine it's no later than the 1920s. Um, it is, however, I could not get it into working condition. It's frozen and I cannot. I've tried a number of things and I have not been able to get to get this uh, nut to screw. So, um, Anyway, but I did see somebody else on Etsy had used this as a picture display. They just tucked a little picture right in that gap, and it was really cute. So I, I confess I stole the idea. I did one of my pictures. I showed it with an antique postcard and, uh, you know, suggested that it could be used as sort of industrial design. <laughs> Which would be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, the price on that I listed for $29. And um, everything is free shipping. The shipping on this is quite heavy. It's going to be, it's over a pound. So um, that's why the price is a little bit high. Uh, I listed this absolutely beautiful turquoise and sterling silver. Native American. Come on, come on, you can do it. Cross, I uh, mean cross, heart pendant that's de uh, marked, boy, I can't find my words this morning, um, Qual Turquoise, QT, Qual Turquoise, which is a, a shop in Albuquerque. If you've ever been to Albuquerque and seen their beautiful Native American silver shops, um, seems like that might be a very good thing. I don't know. But anyway, it's got some beautiful stamping on it and a nice silver chain. And that I listed for 39 And then these Native American, probably Navajo, earrings and shadow box construction with lapis lazuli. Or lapis lazuli. I'm never sure how to pronounce that. And these are clip-on earrings. I, I think it's a really pretty design. I like it. Uh, those ones listed for 42 $42. Okay. So here is my first attempt at using chalk paint. Um, oh, I watch these, these ladies on YouTube that do the painted furniture and they just do the most amazing things. So I thought I would just try something simple, just a simple blending of two shades of kind of a blue gray to go in my, this is going to go in my bathroom upstairs. And Here's the drawers. It's getting a little dark, so I've been working on this for a couple of hours, I think. <laughs> but um, I'm going to see what, how this turns out when it dries, and then I think I'll probably, well, I got to paint. I got to paint that inside part right there. I guess I could do that now. But yeah, well, that side looks pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. Hello, it is Tuesday morning after Columbus Day and uh, normally on a holiday, after a holiday weekend, I have a lot of orders to pack up, but um, this time I only have four, but that's okay. I'm first going to show you what I've listed over the past couple of days, which is not a whole lot. Um, you know, I take time off sometimes. And uh, then I will show you what I'm packing up to ship. Okay, first up is this little framed needlepoint picture, which is really sweet. And uh, that I listed for 38 
free shipping. And then this little shabby chic painted frame with the dimensional flowers on it. I added a vintage postcard, which is a photo of a flowering cactus. <laughs> I don't know how, how well that matches the theme of the frame, but anyway. Um, and I listed that frame for 28. And then as far as the jewelry goes, uh, these lovely earrings, which look very 1980s to me, these giant button earrings, they have inlaid turquoise, malachite, and rhodolite, something like that. I looked it up. Pink, pink rhodolite. It's like a pink stone with black veins. I think it was rhodolite. Um, and these are signed by Tabra. Tabra, not Native American, I don't believe. Let's see if I can show you what. Her mark is very faint sometimes. No, it's on this side. It's very faint. There, you can see it right there. Um, there, you can see it. Um, sometimes they'll have a year on them, sometimes they won't. They're just like signed with a with a engraving pen and it has a copyright symbol Tabra. Uh, Tabra jewelry goes for big money. It's always exciting. I think this is um, I have a couple of those kind of pins that go between your collar points. I don't know exactly what you call those. But, um, I have a couple of those in the shop and I have sold earrings in the past and I think this is about my third pair of earrings and uh, these I have listed for $220. They're really beautiful and then they're in very nice condition. The, the copper, they're tricolor metal. It's like copper, sterling silver, and then that's probably a gold washed sterling silver ring there. Um, the copper's a little bit oxidized, has a little bit of verdigris on it, but <clears throat> I don't really consider that a, a problem. I think it makes, it look, makes them look cool. So those are those, and then this, this is an, these are both items from my big sterling silver eBay lot. This is a malachite ring, with, and it's gold filled, which is a little bit unusual for Native American jewelry. Well, it turns out it is from Sunbell, and Sunbell is the company that... Um, Bell Trading Post became in the 1970s. And the symbol is just a bell with some radiating lines coming out from it. Let's see if I can... I don't know if you're going to be able to... See. There, you can kind of see it there. Um, and uh, it turns out this ring is... It may be gold filled, but the inside of it is steel, not silver or, or nickel. Um, but it's still really pretty. And it's, uh, as with Bell Trading Post, Sun Bell, the jewelry is not necessarily Native American made. It could be. And it looks like, you know, it looks like Native American jewelry, but there's no guarantee that it is. That's a pretty stone. At any rate, um, I listed that ring for uh, $24, mostly because of the condition, because it has, you know, the top of the ring looks really nice, but the the band has some wear to it, some wear to the, to the gold. So that's it for now. So I sold the remainder of these French prints that I bought. I bought them at my mother-in-law's uh, retirement home rummage sale. I paid for the six, I paid $30, so five bucks a piece. I already sold a pair of them earlier, and then I had these listed as one pair and then I and then two singles. And the same person bought all of them, and the total came to $133 uh, free shipping. The shipping's going to be, you know, pretty exorbitant, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, I did well on those. And they're really they're really adorable. Uh, the they're mid-century, and the artist is Arno. And um, I think there's no real agreement on who Arno is. But they're very pretty, very mid-century looking Paris prints. Okay, then I sold, everything else was jewelry. 
and I sold this uh, Tibetan sterling silver really unusual looking pendant with a coral stone it's just beautiful metalwork that I sold for $55 and then I sold a, a couple of the uh, pieces from the silver lot that I got on eBay and these are some uh, probably Navajo sterling silver and turquoise hoop earrings and a feather motif and those sold for 29 they were a good price and then the buyer used the coupon code that I have for my YouTube peoples to get 10% off which you can it is YouTube thanks um, you can look at the description and you can see exactly what the coupon code looks like and you can get 10% off any order over $25 just for watching, just for being in the know. And uh, this also came from the same, um, same lot of jewelry. It's, uh, in fact, these are from the same maker, which uh, I wasn't able to identify, um, even though it was quite, a, quite an obvious mark. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. It's like FJM Idaho Sterling. Um, anyway, um, that listed, that sold for 68. Just, uh, I put a good price on this just because the turquoise was so amazing. It's just beautiful. Okay, and uh, that's it for today. Oops, I forgot to show this. I also sold this uh, lovely Millefiori paperweight for $55. No, sorry, $68. Free shipping. Shipping's quite a bit because it's very heavy. Uh, but that um, I got at the flea market for $15, I think. So pretty. I love this one. morning it is Wednesday morning and I guess I'll show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm packing up to ship today I had one really huge enormous sale yesterday I was very excited I'll tell you about it in just a minute so here is <clears throat> excuse me here is what I listed yesterday um, I don't think I have shown you this I I made a few purchases at the rummage sale at my mother-in-law's, and I don't think I ever did uh, any haul videos on that. So I'll just show you now. This is a white Italian marble mortar and pestle, and I believe I paid all of $2 for that, and I have it listed for $39. It is, <laughs> it's like three pounds. It's really heavy. And uh, then I listed this cute little picture frame that's in an art deco style but it's not terribly old and then I put an antique postcard it's a linen postcard of Niagara Falls in there just to display it nicely so you get a bonus postcard if you buy the frame or maybe you get a buy bonus frame if you buy the postcard I don't know how it works uh, but I listed that for 22 I think and then this wonderful ring um, I did some research and I found out what this symbol means. This is actually a symbol that is part of the National Education Association logo. If you look up the NEA, you will see this symbol inside the E. And it is the letter Pi with an arrow. And Pi is the first letter of the ancient Greek word for education and the arrow symbolizes something or other. Uh, I put it in the listing anyway. Uh, so I imagine this was a custom-made ring. It definitely looks Native American, but it's not marked or anything. It is sterling silver, turquoise, coral, and mother of pearl. And I listed that for 59 mostly because it has a little flaw right there. I'm not really sure what's going on. It looks almost like there was a little... Um, 
the cut is like really clean there, so I don't know. But there's a tiny, tiny little hole. But anyway, it's still very cool. So I listed that for 59. It's quite a large size. It's a size nine and a half ring. And then the last item is this turquoise pendant. It's Mark Sterling. And I listed that for 39. Okay, so here's what I'm shipping off this morning. We have this uh, nice vintage corkscrew made in Germany, probably a uh, pre-World War II, and uh, that sold for $15 plus shipping. Um, that sold on eBay too. That's been on eBay forever. I don't know why I have it on eBay. I think I started it as an auction because I thought that it might be, I couldn't really find another one like it, and I thought it might be unusual, but it's not terribly unusual, I guess. Uh, then I saw this pair of Spanish faux damascene dangly little clip earrings with faux pearls. And those sold for 15 plus shipping, I think. And uh, this recently listed turquoise and sterling silver necklace. It is signed by um, Steve Francisco. the back and uh, that sold for 37 34 34 uh, and then there's this <laughs> iCat fabric which I'll slip in a picture because I already have it wrapped and uh, that sold for I think it was $25 free shipping and then this is what I'm excited about. But I can't show it to you because it's also wrapped, but I'll show you a picture. This is a gigantic French needle lace tablecloth. Came from my sister-in-law, Amelia. She's the one that finds the great things. <laughs> uh, and that sold for $775. I actually have another one of these still for sale that's uh, around the same price. I think it's a little less. But um, yeah, this thing was banquet size. It's enormous, great. Probably uh, probably was bought for a wedding. I, w I would think that would be a good use for it. So yeah, and it's going to Australia. So I've got it smushed into a, as small a box as I can so that the shipping doesn't get to be crazy. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm packing up to ship today. Here goes. And first up is this cool black velvet beaded vest. Uh, I am guessing that this is Asian. Um, it might even be Hmong, but I'm not sure. It's got these silver plated little giant, little giant, yeah sequins on it and then these this beautiful beadwork and it's got a striped lining and uh, I listed that for 45 it's quite heavy um, let's see this is the jewelry I listed I listed this silver pendant like a leaf pendant it's got some hand stamping around the edges and then it is signed R.S. Verley and I really couldn't find much about this artist or company or whatever. Um, I found a couple of other pieces that were definitely brutalist in style. The mark looks like it ought to be Native American. It's just kind of a typical way, but, um, but I can't see any evidence of that other than there is a little bit of hand stamping around the edge. But anyway, it's a cute little silver leaf pendant with a place for a monogram if you wanted. And I listed that for, uh, no, no, I've forgotten. Um, I listed that for 29 Sorry. And, um, these, just some absolutely gorgeous turquoise. These are probably older uh, Navajo. They're not marked or anything. The, uh, screwbacks, the screwback hardware is not sterling, but the earring is. 
and uh, those I listed for uh, 42 Put those down there and then the last thing I listed was this this is a skirt I'm not gonna unfurl the whole thing it's, it's a very plain black like pencil skirt it's made with this heavy could be hand woven cotton I think and this really pretty colorful embroidery at the bottom. I have no idea where this is from or who made it. It's not marked in any way, but it's a nice skirt. Very uh, slim profile skirt. Anyway, um, that I listed for 28. 28. And those are all free shipping. Good morning. It is Friday morning and I am going to show you well, what I got listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. So yesterday I listed this sterling silver and turquoise beaded multi-strand necklace. Uh, this is, I'm still working through that big eBay silver lot. And this, uh, I was surprised to find out, was Ralph Lauren. Or Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um, there is a little mark on this. Um, let's see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you because the camera won't focus. But anyway, there is a mark on here. It says RLL, and it is mark 95. And I even I tested these um, tube beads to make sure they are sterling, and they are. So um, I listed that for 27. And then these. Uh, Zuni inlaid earrings. They are signed. And the maker is F. No. What is it? It's FDS. And uh, I only found a few other things online with the same maker, and nobody on those other listings or identified the maker either. So. A known maker, but nobody knows him. <laughs> and uh, this particular arrangement of stones, I learned this recently, is called a sun face, and it represents the sun father, which is one of the three main Zuni deities. And that's a split in the forehead, and it represents the duality, oh, the, uh, the balance of sunrise and sunset something like that anyway it's cool i listed those for 48 dollars and then uh, the other two listings i already put them in inventory but i will slide in some pictures the first uh, is a um, kimono jacket japanese silk completely hand stitched uh, which is also called um and i don't know if i say this right a uh, Haori, H-A-O-R-I, which is a kimono jacket, has some beautiful embroidery on it, and uh, that I listed for $59, of course came from my sister-in-law, and then I have um, this Indonesian lamb suede, which makes me not happy, but anyway, it is a lamb suede jacket with uh, lavish embroidery on it, and um, that I listed for 78 and did I say free shipping? All free shipping. And here is what I am shipping off today. I have this picture frame which I got at a garage sale for a dollar and that sold for 24 and then this little mother of pearl ring part of the recent eBay silver lot and that I sold for 28 and those are both free shipping. Good morning, it is Saturday morning, and I just got back from breakfast and grocery shopping, and I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday, and then I will show you what I'm shipping off today. Uh, first up is this turquoise nugget choker necklace. It's got all turquoise beads all along here. A lot of different colors of turquoise. It's really pretty, very nicely done. And that is 27.
And then this is a black onyx sterling silver pendant. It is signed CC. The style of the mark looks like it's definitely Native American. And the, of course the style of the, of the pendant itself looks Navajo-ish. Um, and that I listed for 28. And then we have this tennis racket cover made out of a Panamanian mola in a butterfly design. And that's what the other side looks like. And I listed that for 24 and I would have asked a little more for it, but it does have some wear around the bottom here. And then lastly is this lovely cotton skirt with a beautiful, beautiful print from India. It is a size large and it's very long. It's a straight skirt with a kick pleat. It's got two different styles of print on it. <clears throat> very nice. And that I also listed for, let's see, what did I list that for? 27. And here's what I'm shipping off today. Um, these three items are all going to one person. And this is a Silver Plate Metropolitan Museum of Art reproduction of a, um, what's the name on that? Jacob Bolan piece that was originally made in the late 17th century, which is really cool. Uh, I think I got that at a thrift store for a dollar or two and um, sold it for 22. And uh, then these earrings, these are some really fun mod dangly earrings, they're clip ons. Um, I think I got those at a garage sale a long time ago for, you know, like a dollar. And those sold for uh, $12. <laughs> and then this, oh, this is something my mother made a long, long time ago. I have a lot of needlework of my mother's, so I don't keep, I can't keep it all. Um, it's a little sachet pillow with a hand crochet uh, filet lace cover on it. And that sold for nine dollars. It's so pathetic. I've had all three of these things I've had listed for a very, very long time. Um, I don't sell things for nine dollars anymore. I just, it's not, I mean, you, you can't pay yourself that little of a price for your work. You know, even if you get it for free, all the time it takes to research and clean and photograph and list and everything, blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, I'm very happy to see these things going to a new home. And then uh, I sold this lapis lazuli and sterling silver ring for 48. That's free shipping. These are all free shipping because they all added up to over $35. They weren't originally free shipping. Uh, and then this beautiful canateal sterling silver brooch was 28 plus shipping. It's a really nice one. Here's something you don't see very often. <laughs> All right, here we are. That's the flea market. It is a crazy day today. It is so incredibly crowded. Thank you.